Can you imagine what it's like to be months in your little apartment? Not able to go out, not able to get what you need. A lot of them are, dis they're disabled or they're blind or. They have some memory issues and using the microwave and the oven doesn't, doesn't work for them anymore. A lot of the seniors could be down to the tea and toast type of meal. Um, having a hot meal brought to their house helps them to be able to continue on in their home for that much longer. Uh, Beacon Community Services was founded in 1974 by volunteers and to this day it continues to be a volunteer-led organization. What's important to me is that everybody has a chance to live their life as well as they possibly can. And what I like about Beacon is our, our motto is uh, helping people and improving lives. There's a lot of people that are not seeing other people during the week. And we also know that sometimes we're the only phone call that they have and the only person they're talking to. I find it pretty rough. And But I'm still on top. The people who are mo most frail in the community uh, needed this extra support. So I really appreciate the fact that the United Way approached us. We felt that it, this was a great fit. Thankfully, we have the support financially through the United Way. And it's just showing them that we care about them. We're seeing them, we hear them. They're living on their own. They may be lonely and isolated. And somebody's reaching out and, and saying, here's a meal, we care about you. It's more than just a meal program. It's, it's reaching out and it's a, maybe a virtual hug through food. Thank you. Thank you for knowing that it matters, for working to have the donations to fund something like this. They're very compassionate, very loving, and I love them. <laughs>